Okay, welcome back. So in the last lecture, we introduce, I introduced the concept of motion of an object under gravity. So in the videos before that, I introduced the motion of an object on a horizontal direction. So if an object has some plane like this, like this, some plane, alright, has some plane, and if an object is plane like this, and has some velocity, I will take it as uh, 10 meters per second, alright. Ten meters per second, and it goes to this point. Now this is a now this is a horizontal path actually. And it goes to this point at the same velocity, ten meters per second. Now I call this a translation motion or the movement of an object in the horizontal direction. So in the last set of videos. I also introduced the concept of an object moving under gravity. That means the object of uh, the path of an object is vertical or that is perpendicular to the plane at which we are projecting. All right. So this is horizontal motion. So in the last uh, videos, I introduced the concept of vertical motion. Now you know about uh, um, well-known stuff about the horizontal motion and the vertical motion. Now what happens if an object? is neither in horizontal motion nor in vertical motion or if an object is projected at an angle to a surface. Now if you take an object, if you, if you take a plane like this and if you take an object like this, alright? So if, you, if I take an object like that and if I give a velocity like this, I have given a horizontal velocity here, 10. So if I give a velocity in the vertical direction, it will have a velocity in the vertical direction. So in this object, I will give a velocity that is neither horizontal nor vertical. So that will be an angular velocity or a, a velocity that has some angle that is some that is that, uh, that is inclined to the surface that uh, at which I am projecting. So I have some velocity. Uh, I will take it as. 10 meters per second and the angle between the velocity that I am projecting and the horizontal is 30 degrees. So it will be simply like this. Now this object has neither a, a vertical, a single vertical, uh, that means this has a vertical uh, velocity but this doesn't have only a vertical velocity or only a horizontal velocity. Now, the, you know that velocity is a vector and you know how to decompose vectors. Now by, by you know, uh, vector decomposition you can say that the velocity of an object, the velocity of an object that is projected inclined in such a manner has both a vertical velocity and a horizontal velocity. So if I uh, decompose this velocity I can have this is 10 cos 30 meters per second this is 10 sin 30 meters per second 10 sin 30 meters per second so if I have horizontal velocity I know the object moves in a horizontal plane from here to here from here to here so if I have the velocity 10 cos 30 this object will move in this direction and I know if an object has some vertical velocity it will move in the vertical direction under gravity because the gravity is the only force or the only acceleration that is acting upon the object that is the only the mass or the weight of the object is acting upon is the only force that is acting upon the object when it is in on, uh, free space so only the gravity will act on the object as the acceleration so if an object is uh, made to uh, go in a vertical direction it will have some acceleration in the vertical direction all right so I have some velocity in the vertical direction so what happens if an object is now uh, projected at an angle all right we'll find out now if I take the point at which I am projecting this as a here a here and if I take the point at which this it comes back to the surface, it goes somewhere like this, somewhere, somewhere like that, and comes back here B. From A to B, now uh, considering the vertical motion, I can write uh, 
from A to B, it will be singly. A, if you are, if you are only considering the vertical motion, what happens actually is that A will coincide B. That means an object that is moved from this position, A, at a velocity 10 sin 30, that is 5 meters per second, I will straight take uh, 5 meters per second and it goes up, this is the maximum velocity the object can receive and also this is the minimum height the object can receive. So this object goes up and comes down. So in the videos of on uh, vertical motion or the videos on uh, the object uh, motion of an object under gravity, I talked about uh, if the velocity of the object at some point is uh, say v, if it is at the same height, if it is at the same height from which you are taking the heights, the velocity of the object will be same. So, so this is these are same height. So a and b, a and b are on the same plane and uh, at the same height, a and b. So this is a horizontal plane. So the velocity at a, the horizontal, the, sorry, the vertical velocity of the object at a should be equal to the vertical velocity of the object at b. The only thing is that the vertical velocity of the object will be the same, but its direction will be 180 degrees upside down. So the velocity here will be also 5 meters per second. So what I am telling is that this object will be projected from here and it will come to b. So this is point b when we are considering only the vertical motion. So if you are considering only the vertical motion, I will take this is this uh, the, uh, the time at which it leaves A at is t equal 0 and the time at which it arrives B is t equals t. So considering this motion, we can put the linear equations of motion. So from A to B, from A to B, I will put uh, now I know the vertical displacement is zero because there's some vertical displacement from A to the maximum height, and there's some vertical displacement from the maximum height to B. So considering the motion from A to B, the maximum height from A, the, the height achieved from the position of A to the maximum point will be some, say it's h, and from the maximum point to B will be minus h because. Uh, h is a displacement you are taking not the distance so a displacement is a vector you have a positive or negative direction so if I take the positive direction up it will be plus h from a to the maximum point and will be minus h from a to the uh, maximum point b so considering the whole motion the uh, vertical displacement the total vertical displacement of the object will be h plus minus h so that will be zero so the total uh, vertical displacement of the object will be zero so if I put s equals u t plus half a t square u t plus half a t square for this object from a to b upwards alright so the total displacement will be 0 so s is 0 so u is actually the velocity in the upward direction so it will be positive so from A to B, the velocity, the initial velocity is 5 meters per second. So U is 5 times, you don't know T, I'll take the time, I have taken the time T here at B, 5T plus half times. So the, I told you that the only, the, the only acceleration that will be acting upon the object is the gravitational acceleration. <laughs> so the gravitational acceleration from A to B will always be acting downwards. So I have taken the velocities and the other things that are measured, the displacement, the velocities, the accelerations in the upward direction as positive. So if you are putting S equals ut plus half a t squared in the upward direction, the gravitational acceleration which acts downward will be negative. So it will be minus g times t squared. So if you take g as 10, you can say that 0 equals 5t minus 5t square. So if 0 equals 5t minus 5t square, you can say that 5t squared is equal to 5t. And I am considering t as the time at which it arrives at b. So t is not equal to 0, so you can divide it by t. So t 
t will be equal to 1 upon 5 seconds which is 0 0.2 seconds. Alright, so that's the motion under gravity. So if you are considering the motion from A to B in the horizontal direction, it will have velocity 10 root 3 by 2 because 10 cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So the uh, horizontal velocity will be 10 root 3 by 2 that is 5 root 3. It will be 5 root 3 and uh, at the, so this is at A. If you are considering at B, it goes in this direction. Now, if you take the velocity of an object, uh, if, the, if you take the position of the object at A in the vertical motion, I told you it will coincide with B, but it has some velocity in this direction, the horizontal direction, so it will have some displacement. So when you are taking the horizontal dis, uh, displacement of the object, you can say that A coincides with B. So I take the point of B here, and it has the same velocity because the, the gravitational acceleration is perpendicular to the object's motion, so it will not have an uh, effect on the object's motion. So there is no acceleration, the object will move with constant velocity. So it will have the same velocity, phi root 3 at B as well. So if the distance between A and B is R, I will take R, you can put S equals U T plus half A D squared for this motion from A to B in the horizontal direction. S equals U T plus half A D squared in this direction. So S is equal to R. U is 5 root 3. T you don't know. 3 you have calculated it equals 0 0.2 seconds so you can find r because half a d a since a is equal to 0 half a d square will be 0 so you know that t is equal to 0 0.2 seconds you can substitute here and find r so r equals 5 root 3 times 0 0.2 so 5 times 0 0.2 will be 1 so 1 times root 3 is root 3 so r will be approximately 1.73 meters Alright, so R is approximately 1.73 meters. So what I have actually done here is that I took the velocity of the object to be in both the horizontal direction and the vertical direction and then I found the maximum the displacement of the object in both directions, the time taken for the object from to cover from A to B. So uh, in this video I talked about the generalization concept of an angle of, uh, of a, a, an object moving in an angle motion so in the next video I will take some uh, general equations I derive, derive some uh, general equations in order to understand this motion in a more thorough way so see you then and thanks for watching this video